This is a nice little tune, actually. I like this. Whoops, I, I threw two players.
God, that was such a messy play. Definitely can play better than that. Really don't have a hope for have to keep that garbage run. Some idiot. Can't MA anything. Okay, uh, let's see if the audio capture actually works properly. That would be nice. Don't mind if my screen goes black. That just means I'm, uh, I, because of the, how this is set up, I'm off thing.
Oh, nah, I hate that file. Wait! It's gimmicks heavy here, but it's medium on the- Ah! If you're wondering, this says me. You notice how this, this is the medium chart for this file? The challenge chart is also in the uh, ECFA tournament. It's a wild ride. But uh, I just noticed the discrepancy between how the two were judged. Let's go. Can't get anything going today. I was late this time. Yuck. Actually, eh, uh, didn't get any faults. Still, I should be able to get at least a thousand on this. So yeah, and that's the ECFA breakdown. For those who don't know ECFA, uh, point you can see there's this 912 out of 1687. ECFA is scored on the system where songs are worth things like that are worth out of a maximum value of certain points and you're scored from that maximum point value. Uh, so this is worth 1,687 points maximum. The highest rated song in this entire tournament. So that's 1,687. The final boss of this tournament is worth 10,000. I... Uh, <laughs> I'm not clearing this anytime soon. I'm not even life bar passing this anytime soon. It's insane. I'm just trying out some mostly easy stuff. Well, easy for my level. A lot of this will probably look crazy, but at my level, most of this is pretty easy. This, on the other hand, is just stupid. It's cursed. This is cursed as all hell. Skittles chart. Cursed is all hell. I don't know what this chart looks like. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if I can, if I'm just having a terrible day at everything or if I can, or if I just haven't warmed up properly yet. I never know, really.
Okay, no, I'm not keeping around with that opener. Uh, that's because there's something called the FA pass where you need to score a certain... You need to get some pretty... Some uh, score cutoffs for your scores to count. That run was not on a good score pace. It was just falling apart. Bangarang specifically, by the way. This... Okay, check this chart out. I'm gonna try it. I will not get a good a score that... I will not be able to put a uh, qualifying score on this because it's too hard. I mean, it's not too hard, it's just really cursed. If I ever get a qualifying score on it, that will might be my best score of this event. No, I got Mekaruza. God, the church sucks. Yeah, um, so you can see that there's this thing called the FA score. That is calculated independently of your theme score. And you have to get a 75% at this, on this division, you must get a 75% to FA pass. 61% isn't even close. This chart is horribly cursed, and it's just full of so much why. It's not the outright hardest 10. The outright hardest 10 goes to this effer, and which is also actually just remarkably cursed as a file. But this one is kind of cursed because it's just really hard. I'm really not having a great day for FA passes. I can't get anything going right now. But... I just, like, I just can't get anything good going right now. You know what? Let's try this. Oh, right. Uh, how you... If you don't know how that works, uh, the theme I'm using has three different life bars. And the red one, you, the orange light bar you see up in the corner, that is the harshest of the three. So, I'm not really in danger. Okay, I actually like this file. This is cool. This is really spicy for a tail, oh, jeez.
Wow, that's spicy for a 10. That's a lot of fun actually, but that's hard. Whew, most 10s don't throw that much at you. Still, I got one good score today, so I'll take it. I just can't get anything going. Sunku does not understand what rhythms are. This is just a mess. So yeah, if you see anything where you see a zero, that means I've tried it, but I have not FA passed it. I'm never FA passing this because this is... So you can see these five categories, speed, stamina, technique, movement, rhythms. They go one to 10. 10 being the hardest. Rhythms 10 basically means that, uh, oops, we forgot what rhythms are. Um, and these are all relative to the block level. So at, a, at the level 10, rhythms, well, so what speed 10 means at a, at a 10 level is very different from what speed 10 is when you meet it at the 14 level. I like this preview because it actually just tells you exactly how ridiculous this thing is. You just listen to it and it's just, oh god. Not trying any 14s right now. Probably not to, I'm probably gonna try one 14 later today. I'm not feeling super up to anything super hard. Uh, I guess, no, that's really the Movement is, uh, oh yeah, Tsunku is the Rhythm Heaven Fever guy. In fact, it's quite, that's Remix 1 from Rhythm Heaven Fever, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this one. Movement 10 is always a bit tricky to, to discern, because movement, movement is the total amount of, well, yeah. I think movement speaks for itself. You'll see what, if now, Okay, no, I forgot this charge is just bad. It's not actually super bad, but I guess I'm not in the mood for doing lateral motions today. I'm very rarely in the mood for doing those, so that's not saying that much, I guess. I'm not getting any 11 passes today, so... I find it very ironic that a song called Coffee Break has this preview, but you know, let's see what happens. Might as well see if I can add a new 10. I'm trying to basically fill out my ECFA passes because I'm trying to, I feel like, oh, it started earlier than I was ready for. And this is why I don't talk. In, in game, it's too easy to get loose things. Wow, those jacks are fast!
Don't mess this up. Damn it! Why does this always happen? Ah, uh, such a good first half, and then I just completely ruined it. That's actually not easy, though. That ending is rhythms. I'm not sure about rhythm six for this. That seems a bit low for ten. Why do I not? Oh, right. That's it. okay. It's a. This is a sort of this. So the thing about freezes in ITG is not only are they lenient, but actually those ones are so short you can't drop them at all. Like they automatically, the, the timing window for dropping them is so lenient, you can't actually drop those. If you just tap them, you, if you just tap those, if, they're called effect rolls because they're basically a visual effect. Because holds are just either you drop them or you don't. There's no actual timing window associated with them. Yeah, O2 Jam actually has timed freezes, which... Which, uh, yeah, that would suck in this game. That part is this could have been such a, a much better run. Two point eighty three percent. Wow, that was actually that would have been an FA pass if, I, if this were rated eleven. Which no, this is a fair ten, but I. You see, the thing is, I don't have to worry about your messages during a song because songs are like two minutes long. So the thirty seconds is uh, only really a thing when I'm trying to get. It. Get uh, I mean, in discussion in moments like this. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Maybe. Uh, that's rhythm's nine, though. Go for this, then go for Kind Lady, and then I'll uh, switch to qualifiers. Well, actually, how many nines have I got? I got the two nines. 
Plus, I got in the two. Nah, I keep going for a bit longer. I want to see it get to at least 80. Okay, I'm actually getting FA scores above 80%. That's a good sign. That's where I want to be. Uh, actually, okay, the timing windows were changed here because uh, of recency, but uh, Masterfuls are actually slightly more strict than Fantastic used to be because basically um, uh, the community got too good at quadding things under the uh, Fantastic window, so uh, they're doing this under a stricter timing window set for this tournament. Though the FA pass requirements are lower to compensate. Last tournament, the upper division was 90% on an FA on FA score. And you know, now the highest division this goes up to is the 14s, which require an 86. Which I am most actually way harder on the masterful, because wow. But so the theory goes anyway. Anyways, kind lady, I want to get this one because this one's really cool. Okay, so remember how I just I just said these that the masterful is more strict. Fun fact: the current best player in the tournament managed to get a, a masterful full combo. He literally got only masterfuls on this chart. Remember that because for what you're about to see, some guy got only masterfuls on this chart.
Bad ending. I don't know what's so bad about that ending. It's not actually a hard ending at all, but every player proportional to their level has issues with it. I got the one miss there. Uh, Chris, the guy who got the MFC of this, uh, always dropped a couple awesomes there for the longest time. It took him like... It took him a few hours to get this. Like, he was a dedicated grind because he really likes this song, so he wanted to get it. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let me just check. US ECFA scores. Where am I? 80. I have precisely 80 FA scores, which means I need a 20 more to four before I filled my profile. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going for this one. Nah, I'm good. I think I can get... Oh yeah, right, the speed 10. Okay, this is what a speed 10 looks like at the 10 level. I uh, want you to appreciate this one because of uh, its difficulty curve is slightly funny. So it's got speed complex, right? So it's like, oh God, this is gonna be fast. Speed 10, you're probably asking. Because that's fast. That's not speed 10. Not at, even not even for the 10 level. You're about to see. Okay. Yeah, those are 30 second notes. go. I've been trying to FA pass this one for a bit. There we go. It finally bites the dust. This should be Rhythms 10. That's all I really say about that. In general, if you see two categories rated 10, that's a sign the file should probably just be rated one up from where it is instead of, and each of the five ratings are relative to the block level. So a 10 stamina in the 10 rating means a lot less than a 10 stamina at the 14 rating. And you'll be seeing what I mean by that because 
I'm actually, I know what 14 I'm going to be trying today. Because, so, uh... Eh, I'm not liking the DT plus on that. This is a stamina 10, 10 footer. I'm going to try this. But I want you to remember this. Because later I'm going to be trying a stamina 10, 14. And that's because of uh, qualifier reasons. Such bad MA. So you see that I got a full combo and still FA failed. And that's because my accuracy was just really bad. Look at that spread of colors. That's a stamina 10 for a 10 footer. Remember that though, because I'll be coming back to that. Eleven. See if there's any easy 11 second snipe. I'm gonna see if I can snipe the 11. Wait, search the name of what? Oh, okay. I don't know which song you're referring to, but I need to search the name. I'm sorry, I've now skipped past it. This is super cool. This is one of my favorite 11s, but I already got the FA pass. I could get a better FA pass, but it's hard to get the first one. Thanks, D. Vogan. I don't think I can FA past this. I'm gonna try, because this one's worth a lot of points. I'm gonna see what I can pull off. I don't think I can get this. Come on.
Nah, this isn't going well. Not gonna get gonna preserve this run. Hello. Rhythm's 10, let's go. Oh, you've got to sit up in your bum like that. Whoops. I, I distracted you. Keep it heavy, right there. Yep, oh, how, how, yeah, Daniel's there. His. Nine. I knew that was going to happen too. I know I can get this now. I know I can actually get a rhythms 10 11. TBH, I'm not sure about rhythms 10 for this. It is kind of just a one trick pony, rhythms wise. It's just a really hard one trick pony to master. Why is this opening so hard? God, opening is, entering this is actually a real pain.
go! 83.52% FA. And unfortunately, exactly one miss. I'll take it. 2,940 points. Why don't you go play everything at the same time? If I got a 79.9 on one miss, I'd be so mad. I'd probably just end my session right there. I'm like, no, it's not worth playing this game. Uh, that was good though, actually. That was actually a really good score. Already got this one. Did not get this one. This one is just a troll. This is just a giant troll fest. This one sucks. Uh, it's a disconnected song, I'm not sure. Oh no, it's a rebirth chart! Oh no, 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 I'm not getting sticking away from that. Get me away from that. If you don't get the joke, uh, rebirth is a very, very old ITG pack. Pretty much the first pack to really be a pack that wasn't just the officials. It's aged well sometimes, and sometimes is aged particularly poorly. Virtually everything in the uh that's by that has disconnected in the name has aged very poorly. It came pretty close to FA passing this one. What? Except the eight. Okay, let me correct myself. Any challenge <laughs> chart with that's the name disconnect. Forward. Any nine actually to be fair, it's more like just any nine with disconnected in the name is Oh jeez. And there's no winding. That was a few frames. No lead into this one at all. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. Not like your frames. I don't know what's wrong with this one. This is not like a horrible background video of Doom. Where, let me check my ECFA scores. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can then now improve some of the ones I already have. Okay, Questia, you do need to see this chart. This chart is amazing. By which I mean, uh, I hate it and everything it stands for, but honestly, it's so what it is that it's actually just hilarious. Check out this not at all. Oh, if it's best day, you should probably do King Kong because that's flat out a Dancer song. All right. And I'm really bad at it though. I think I described this one as this song has like flows, but it just hates people. That was one. The other way was the song was it was the what was it? Malicious SNES track, but they left out the two lead lines. Oh yeah, they this put. This one's really cool, actually. Like I I, I love, love hate this one. I like like I, I this gimmick's super cool, but I actually just tilt super hard. I always play the first half fine, and then uh, for some reason I just forget how the gimmick works in the second half, flat out. Crestia, if you've played Necrodancer, you'll know this gimmick. I don't know if you've played Necrodancer, I just... I assume you'll just have, like, that much cursory knowledge of anything.
god, it's such a messy like game. I, said, uh, I, fir- I always, I'm fine in the first half, and then I forget what the hell is happening for the entire song in the second half. Like, I don't know why. I just cannot, like, I can feel, like, my attention span just decides that it, to forget what slowdowns are halfway through, even though it's, like, the most dead consistent gimmick ever. I have a love-hate relation with this chart, because on one end, I really want to like this gimmick. On the other hand, I hate this gimmick. I just do so much worse. F.A. passing this should not have actually taken much effort, but I just couldn't. I just kept no goofing, it the stu- goofing it in the stupidest ways. Oh, hey, Valix tried this one. Yeah, this one's actually cool. It, it is actually cool. I like Valix's lower difficulties, honestly. Somewhere between 12 and 13, he just starts getting interesting. Yeah. yeah. Tech breakdown. It's only got eight. Daniel, look at the difficulty bracket it's in. <laughs> that tech breakdown in a ten. It's actually just so funny. Uh, Questia, those are all annotations for various kinds of techniques that appear in pad charts. I probably yeah, should have mentioned fun. that earlier. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of technique. Minus means they don't occur much. Plus means they occur more. I don't think I'm capable of charting things without XO plus these days. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. I don't actually recall this one being too unreasonable at all. Yeah, I just like. with like five million tech notations in the breakdowns because usually they're not bangerang. Yeah. And that means it's like um, like you have one or two distinct bits of tech and all the other kind of flows in pretty naturally. Yeah. Like you don't really notice much of like SJ, JA minus, BR minus. Like you don't notice most of those very much. Yeah. That's... Devogan has this similar thing going on with the lowers and then, you know, somewhere between 12 and 13, it's just like, why? Yes. Meanwhile, a chart that is not most tens... Bangarang should never have been a ten. This should never have been a ten. This is a flat mistake. There's no world is this. Like, I don't, like I said, the thing is, by ten, the, it's so hard to learn the diff. Anybody who can actually learn all the tech in this is going to be, like, minimum easily passing twelves. Like, you were never going to find a player that, like, struggles to pass elevens and is like, okay, yeah, the tech in this is fine. I've learned it. It's just, it's, like, how is it a ten at all? I just don't. To be honest, it's not even an easy ten physically. Like even if you learned the crop, it's just so stupid. Yeah, it's uh, that one's really something. 
Oh man, scorching hoo oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're honest. <laughs> no, they really would have put in the question mark feature here if they were being honest, given the nine scaling for a nine. That's fair. The rhythm's ten nine. You don't need to be. Nearly but on the other hand, that one is. I think they would have also used it first here. Yeah, but I honestly feel like a not actually convinced scorching moon isn't actually worse. That's fair. This just has like every random rhythm, every random conventional burst rhythm distributed all over the place with no flow. It's incredibly annoying. That Scorching Moon just doesn't. Is probably in an irrational time signature. I'm pretty sure that like if you try to simplify it properly to make it work, you end up with one of those things where you have like 28 and two thirds or something in a time signature. <laughs> By the way, Dan totally Daniel didn't pick that number necessarily entirely out of the hat. There's a funny story behind that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's some debate as to whether 28 and two-thirds over 16 is the correct time signature for um, the Masked Man version of Strong One and Mother 3. I have deep trauma over that song because if I didn't get like at least an 8 rhythm combo on every hit, I was not going to win that fight before events wore up and my other run was too low level to do, so I like cast it again. There we go. That is a yeah. significantly... See, this one is like a rhythmically difficult one that actually makes sense and isn't yeah. terrible. Knots... I think I can upscore this to you. Knots is just so obviously sure. But I'll, I'll take, a, well, I'll take a, a, over, a, an over 1300 score for now. Okay, check this beautiful piece of what I guess counts for rhythms. I don't really have much better than that, honestly. You'll see what I mean I very it, shortly. This feels like it was a rendition of an NES track, but for some reason, like, two out of eight of the channels were just muted. Also, those also the are... patterns suck. <laughs> Why, though?
There's one earlier, remember? Yeah, no, I just mean like one beat first. Like, it needed to just have this tiny amount of gimmicks. It's just so unnecessary given the rest of the song. Jacks at the end too. Like, what's the, the for me? It's also the fast jack. This chart confuses me because I can't tell when this was charted. The rhythms could not have been charted back in 2006. Prolix, probably mid 20s. Okay, fair. probably a bit earlier. It's a adrenaline staple because you know if somebody makes a file that's just completely unreasonable enough, it is. I guess so. But. As I said, it's so weird to me because it's just... Those rhythms can't be charted in early ITG. Nobody was that accurate about anything except, like, Mute. And even Mute didn't go that <sighs> far, usually, with the quantizations. He yeah. was more the BPM guy. But those patterns are not... Nobody in 2020 charts that way. Well, you know what they say. God. The sad part is... That was still an upscore. Oh yeah. That kind of garbage play was still you an almost, upscore. If it were a nine, you almost would have passed it. <laughs> There's no free notes. I just want... This is the problem I have with like rhythms ratings up until like 12 or 13, is that the rhythms 10 doesn't actually tell you how much difficulty it's going to have on your points. Because they can have this like insane solo for half the song, and then like restream that is very easy to score on for the other half of the song, but it'll still be Rhythms 10 as long as it's got some stuff. If they give you like Rhythms 10 at 12 or something, the entire song is probably just cursed. So, I mean, at that point, sure, it's fair. But it's like, you could have a nine where it's like Rhythms 10, but you can get 60% on it as like a baseline before you learn the rhythms. And then you can have a nine where it's just like Rhythms 10 and you get 5% of it as your baseline for the rhythms. I still haven't hard cleared this. Hey, wait, wait, no, no, this is the best time to do it. The gimmicks will be like stream lag you're already adapting to. You won't even notice them. The gimmick is not the so not the chart gimmick. The gimmick is that it's this song. Yeah, just pretend you're getting audio lag from the stream, too. This one's cool. Yeah, this one's super cool. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can upscore this one. Let's see if I can upscore here. Okay, not gonna keep that run. Okay, stutter lags are not a good one with uh, FPS you get streaming. <laughs> Alright, wasn't actually serious, but I mean you do you. I mean to be fair, I'm not trying to score. I'm just really just wanna get a hard clear of this. I'm not really playing for FA. Did I get good FA might well Got an experience. This chart is... another way to describe this chart. It's just an experience in the Gavali. That's really the only way to describe this chart. This is...
dead. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I'm honestly, really sure this is actually a 13. Like, I died a like I can't really pass 14s, and I died a 13s. So I'm not. I understand I'm not fully qualified to really make that call. The problem is, but I feel like that could really use a re-rate for like one. <laughs> I'm supposed to say the problem is. I'm not convinced it's really that bad once you've learned it properly, it's just learning that chart is an experience. It's 110, like, I think you should try, but I don't remember. There's, like, a good switch now. That was actually really good, but I think you could probably get a super good score on if you haven't already. Probably how we have. Like, that press trade? No. Was it day one or DLC? Uh, just go down real quick. Because... I think it was DLC. It was from the Mal. It was one of Sorry's charts from the Malcracy. Yeah, I think it's in the DLC. Oh, no, this one, yeah. You already scored. Already have okay, scored. you already have scored it. I think I probably have scored it, but what percentage is that? Oh, the ultimate battle. Yeah, this thing is just why. I really wanted to like this turret. But... This is not a good mix. No, I can't deal with the plus. Right, so, like, those are just not things that can go together for me. Honestly, neither for me. I don't mind either in isolation, but this mixes it really poorly. I'm, like, fine if every single one of the double taps is crossed over. Yeah. I mean, physically that still sucks, but at least I don't get incredibly confused about like how tech or like what kind of deck I'm doing. Also, the part where DT plus SS, just the part where they decide, oh yeah, let's throw in the one arrow that's usually safe when they do stupid mix-ups with Jackson switches. I still like Dizona Del Sid, and I don't understand why it's a Rhythms 9. Neither do I. I genuinely think it's harder on Rhythms than like a lot of the Dens. Not not, but... You should play Mega Ray. Why? It was made of purposes. I can, I can do it. I'll buy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to it. Whatever. But I'm not going to have to. I actually this. don't know why this is a 10, but like, this is my biggest example of the dude, you can't make tech that hard and then call it a 10 because anybody who actually learns the tech at that point is far higher than that level of player.
missing all these brackets. I can't bracket today. God, I just can't See, hit brackets. That's the thing, though, is like the amount of tech and the complexity in that chart and the speed I go. One, I saw the slide switches. How is this actually physically a ten? Like, even if assuming that you can effortlessly read it all, I don't. I feel like that's still not. Like, I feel like that's still chronically underrated. But two, it is that. It's like, if these are block rating is supposed to be a, a passing difficulty, you will never, ever find a player that struggles to pass 11s and is like, yeah, I got this. Like, ever. Yeah, I... Unless all of the 11s are just, like, exactly founded on the same troll principle as this. It's just... Like, I'm fine if you want to call your completely insane tech 13 or 13 or 4, like, whatever. This is one of the rare times I will see it, but 110 is actually pretty fast for a lot of the set we have right here. The chain side switches. Yeah, at 110, those are actually hard. I'd be okay with them if I had any idea what was going on with literally anything in the chart by that point, but I don't. I'm not sure. They kind of lost me. I looked at it a little closer, and then once they started extending the foot switches into the brackets at random, they just completely lost me again. And then I just never looked at this again. Like, I don't... I don't know. I just... I think this is like, it's just... You're never gonna find somebody at the, like, block 10 passing level. Like, just not. Just call it an 11. Every FA player is going to stomp so much harder that it's going to be as draining as an 11 anyways. That's fair. Like, maybe if you assume everybody very efficiently has, like, Chris levels of jack forms and very efficiently double steps every side switch. To be fair, the Jackson, the Jackson disart actually very hard. No, but Once I mean, you realize you that, that the Jackson, the oak intro, are the only Jackson song has. Well, what I mean is, maybe it's physically a 10 if you assume somebody has, like, really good jack form and double step jacks in all of the side switches. And moves as little as possible for this entire thing for anything but To be players. honest, I think for a lot of players that's probably easier. I, do the I side think it's switches. 100% easier for almost anybody. I don't know, I don't think you'd find it easier once you've learned the technique to actually read the sides of your note. I wouldn't find it easier because I get really mad partway through and start doing it entirely at one foot and the other foot in the corner panel. I'd hit, I'd hit the parody point of rage and then I would fail it. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I can't deal with this thing. I just, I don't, like... <laughs> okay, actually that... If you this in 11, would it, have been, would it have been worth too many points? Really? Like, would, would this have been worth too many points? Also, I just that wanted to point out something. Rarely do I say that a tech breakdown alone tells you about anything about the block difficulty, but look it at how many pluses. pluses. Yeah. <laughs> XO plus, BR plus, FS plus, SS plus. Why do you have four pluses? Do you know what I really appreciate? What? DT isn't a plus either. The thing is, there's only really one DT section, and it's yeah. the intro. It cycles eight times total throughout the song, though. That's fair. I'm just saying the standard by which they're using plus isn't even like insignificant at all. Yeah, the XO, VR, FSS, just the four pluses is just really. I, I just, I just I don't actually, understand why this is an eleven. Hang on a second, it just occurs to me. I don't think any of the fourteens even manage that. Manage the four plus. Yeah, the plus three. Um, check uh, override. If, if, assuming this, like, override might have it if we assume that. Oh, actually. Wow. What about. Go back to the sudden visitor for a moment. I'm kind of mad that BT is a plus here. I get it, but I'm, that doesn't actually make me any happier about it. Parks is... I'm kind of surprised this has XO plus. I don't recall the crossovers okay. and this being super bad. Um, it has the second BB crossover stream at the end. That's I think fair. Usually you kind of quit out by then slash. That's fair. I need to get a run where I haven't quit out by the sudden visitor. Honestly, <laughs> I like calling it the sudden visitor just because the A, the name of the song would be, because that's what it feels like. It's like, and now what the hell? Where just, did you show okay, up? I'm gonna be honest. If you just want the hard clear, just pre-drill one bracket. Don't try to turn for the other bracket position. Just pick a good one and core clear it. 
if you just want the hard clear on that, that's, that's, I'm pretty, or like even the normal clear, I'm pretty sure the uh, optimal solution is to, like, one way cheese your way through that. Like, I know. Don't, don't it through. Also, I think for the ladder, like, I'm pretty sure you can actually efficiently double step all of the laterals and save yourself a ton of energy. I know it's It's 178 BPM, though. Yeah, but because of the rhythm, da, 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 what you do is you start on every, every two goes on. Basically, the rhythm is da, 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 da. You basically go one, two, three, four. It's like, basically, you double step almost in pairs. Every, every pair of two fast notes. And I guess that's, I guess that's the other thing and with the... Uh, none of them are actually hard to do. I guess that's the other thing with the 14s. It's like, because this is... Like with Chris, just on different this standards, like really I kind of feel, I don't, it's one of those things where it's like, if I'm actually learning these to pass technical files, learning to cheese them feels... I mean, I get it. I wouldn't either. Like, hey, look, how, yeah. how often am I willing to cheese tech? You literally, you literally see me do 2 seven, try to like do at speed 2 70s on principle. And those are just not a thing. But... Yeah, I know. It's one of those things where... where to be fair, if you turn it but just pre-bracket the whole thing, I think everybody effectively does that. This chart is completely insane. I also hate that it literally is more stream than the sound of the next chart. harder to pass than some easy 15s. It looked harder to pass than some easy 15s. No, well, actually, thank you for scouting me. Keeping... The thing about this... I is don't really... usually, but the thing is... Like, you look really, really tired, good. but your form still looked really good halfway through. So yeah. I was pretty sure that, like, if you just went really hard for it, it's there. The thing is that, as I said, what I was feeling was not sluggishness, but burnout. And those are two very distinct, different feelings. Yeah. Because, oh, I would know. No, you wouldn't. You never feel sluggishness. Are you kidding? You just substitute more burnout every time you do. <laughs> no, okay, that's true. Sometimes I just make up for it by trying to move more. Like, you're but just no, that's not just die, because, like, it is the die because I can't move anymore. But, no, that was good. Yeah, no, I, 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 as I said, it, it really felt, it felt more like burnout than sluggishness. It was just kind of, like, my form's yeah. good. I'm not sure this is going, I can stay stable on this form, though. And the thing is that the one thing it does give you is the one long break is really good for actually breathing. And you can yeah. kind of get back your form off that. No, that, and that other than break. that, it's like, there's just one bracket stream, and it has had few enough brackets. So it was like, 
If it was form or just you were getting really, like, dragging, sure. But because your form was still really good, it's like, no. You definitely have the only evil part of the shark left in you. Yeah. As I said, that, I, I honestly find... That is harder to pass than some of the easier 15. I mean, like, <sighs> it's so close to a stamina of 14 without the tech. It's like... I'd be struggling to just pass the amount of 178 in this, I think. And, and then you just fill it with the brackets, like... The sudden visitor. The that section, section is, is just. just... I... God. I think there is an impractical strategy you could actually do for it. I mean, as I said. Not in terms of cheesing. Um, but because of the way you freak out at it, if you try to go step 124th earlier, I think that'll actually keep you on the right foot a lot more often. Because the one thing is when you lock your position into a certain thing to try and do the bracket drill. You got a lot. Your drop in the middle it wasn't actually because you totally screwed it up. Uh, you started really early. You ate a bunch of bolts. You started on the same foot and ended up starting early. So I feel like you could almost add a ghost twenty fourth of all things. Yeah. I know it's just. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's. I mean, that section. As I said, if you can see that coming and not panic, you are probably a like top thirty two player in the entire world. The other thing about <laughs> the other thing about this chart is panic. that it plays one of my reflexes against me. Oh. No? Which is that basically, I can, I can stave off bur burnout a lot more if the only thing I need to do is focus on on not burning, on not burning out, and, and doubly so if I know where I am in the song. Yeah, that's why I. This thing's so it. hard though to just I focus on about that this song because so there's much so much that I tech. actually remember the way it goes. Yeah. So it was like basically because you were still. I can kind of tell because basically, um, once your legs get out, you, you're very efficient. Your arms usually give out at the same yeah. time. So you weren't slumping onto the bar during the break, and you were still hitting with reasonable accuracy on yeah. the free break note. So it was like. Still. Okay, Anyways, thanks. One bracket. Thanks for watching, Questia. I think I'm going to call it a set with that. God. Hello, it's me, the sudden visitor. Yeah, that's a hilarious way to put it. Or what was it? It's a sudden visitor because you would never invite him into your, your home. House? Yeah. Thanks.